All right, guys, welcome back. Today, let's talk about some CPU mining. So Raptorium kind of took a nosedive. We're down to 0 0.008 cents. It was kind of moving up at the 0 0.0095. So yeah, it kind of tanked a bit. And the difficulty is kind of dropping there if you look at the page. Uh, so interesting. And yesterday I was mining on the Minifacil number four there, the mining pool. And stuff just wasn't even registering for like uh, almost say 10 hours. I said, what is going on? And I wasn't getting any reports over here on my Raptorium mining pool page. And now I do have it. It's back. And the reason it's back, I don't know why, what happened. You can kind of see right here. Got a little hit. It's like things went quiet. I don't know if it was the mining pool per se or what exactly happened. And it just kind of made me think of stuff not working. I normally have eight miners on it. So what I did, I took the other six miners. I think other, well, I took my big miners, my CPU rigs. And I said, I'm going to listen to old rabid miner here. He, he has some good info. I kind of like his, his content. He's, you know, he just, you know, to the point, says, here's what I tried. I'm trying CPU mining on this coin. Some stuff doesn't stick, like I was on uh, Ravencoin Lite. I mined that before that even was a thing. And then I uh, heard everyone talking about Avion, I think, and that was now the new Ravencoin Lite. And I tried that, got a bag of that stuff. And eh, it worked, but again, I don't like some of these coins that are that small and speculative that much. If I can't easily get them on an exchange or something, I don't want to mess with them. Uh, whereas Raptorium, you can, you know, dump it quick if you need to, but I'm not going to dump it. I'm using smart nodes, inode Z to uh, make passive income on this stuff. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, I took his advice and I said, all right, this Raptorium's down. I got, a, I got a decent bag of this stuff. Not a lot, but let me just try this solo mining on Pulsar. I actually came across Pulsar last week. I'll give myself a little work ethic there. I was just going through, what are some of these good coins to go through? And I was searching online and just reading a bunch of crap. And I did come across Pulsar. I didn't like the fact that I, I had to switch CPU miner software. I'm using XM rig on Windows 10. I do not use Hive OS or NiceHash or any of that stuff because I always say I'm cheap. I don't like paying fees, even though the fees are minimal on uh, Hive OS during CPU mining. It is minimal, but still I just like having control and knowing what exactly is going on versus having a middle layer piece of software. If my rigs grow and I want more maintenance or more reporting, I'll then maybe consider switching to Hive OS. But right now every penny counts. Every penny adds up. So where am I at? I went over to uh, what is the mine? I totally forgot the miner. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, let's go look. Here's up. Oh. Oh. SRB miner. And uh, what I did, I downloaded the Pulsar Core wallet from the Pulsar website. And what's going to happen when I get a payout, it's going to go into my core wallet. And then I'll start getting passive income staking on the Pulsar, which is not bad. Why not try it? You can go to Exhibitron Exchange and buy Pulsar directly and see if that actually makes you money. Oh, no, that's a good way to make passive income. All right, I'm just looking around here. Um, this is my GPUs running in the background. Uh, do, 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 do. So there's my Pulsar wallet. Let's go over to Pulsar Coin Exchange. So this is all on miningpoolstats.stream. And I went with Zerg Pool. I was using Zerg Pool for something else. I think I was using for Ravencoin Lite and Avion, which is now Avion, if I remember, if I'm saying that right. Yeah, all right. So anyway, let's, let's go here. I'm using Zerg Pool. You just click on this guy, right? And this gives you the configurator. Let's click on that. Oh, let's go back. Crap. I'm going to see what the what's, what's going on here. The number of miners is actually consistent. It has not spiked at all. I thought maybe since people are putting out videos about Pulsar, everyone's going to like, you know, swarm to this mining pool. But no, it's not bad compared to Raptorium, which is, look at that, 36,540 miners, Pulsar coin, 
1503. So yeah, but look at this thing. This thing is going up and down. It's 0.03 cents, up 30%, and but the difficulty is kind of going up a bit. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. So you click on Zerg Pool again. Start if you want to know about this. Start at miningpoolstats.stream. Type in PLSR or Pulsar, and then you'll get you'll get this page. Then you basically look at the miners. Which one do you want? I like the pool fee. I go by the pool fee, and I go by maybe location. Let's click on it. it's multi coin. Oh, they handle multi coins. That's why the expansion there. I clicked on it. Look at all the coins you can get. Dun, 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 dun. This is all the coins you can mine on that mining pool, apparently. Yeah, and I think if I'm right here, let's go back. All right, let's go back here. Let's go to Zerg pool. Let's click on the actual pool. Here's all the configuration. I like this type of interface. It's to the point. It's engineering in a way, but it actually gives you all the information you need without being too schmancy, uh, and I like that. So what you can do is you can set up your region, say North America. You can set up your algorithm, which is curve hash. You can set out the payout. Oh, this is what I was getting at. You can get paid out in curve. Uh, I mean, um, which is Pulsar. You can get paid out in Pulsar. Or you can say, hey, I want to get paid out in Bitcoin. But when you do that, make sure when you go here, you can hear you can put Pulsar here for your target coin. When you do your payout wallet, you want to make sure the wallet the payout wallet is a Bitcoin wallet. Whatever your payout is in, you can even get Litecoin. And Litecoin's happening next year. So maybe you want to start building up your stack of Litecoin. I don't know. You can do all these coins to get paid out. I may try this, but right now I want to get paid out in, let's see, you just go down here. And of course I passed it. Oh dear gosh. PLSR. Boom. You can say Pulsar coin. And then you can see it builds the string right here, right? You can set your worker name, Rocco. Click outside of it, build your Rocco. But what I do, I do a dash U wallet address with a period and put the ID there. I do not put it on the end here. So I leave that blank. And I do solo. You can see the secret here is the secret sauce on Zerg pool is they're building out the option commands in the password parameter argument list. So the dash P, instead of you typically you see X. Or whatever password you set here it's building out the coin you're doing solo and the id but the id again i'm putting it as a dot notation on my wallet address so you know whole 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 uh, wallet address period rocco that's how i do it here's the algorithm and again i'm using srb miner but i like this again if you want to get paid out in bitcoin which i have i think is a good thing awesome thing put your wallet here as a bitcoin wallet Right now, like I said, I just want to get some yummy Pulsar and see if I can actually stake it. I can stake it and get passive income on it. All right, let's close this ad. See, Brave, you get ads and you click on them, you get paid in a BAT token, basic attention token. Everyone should be using Brave Browser. If you're not, do it. Get Brave Browser. It's built upon Chrome, but it gives you privacy and you get to click on ads and get paid on the ads you click on. And then you build up a couple bucks. A couple bucks is a couple bucks, man. You know, everyone wants a big thousand bucks here and there. No, add up a little bit, adds up every day. Dollar here, dollar there. Let's say crypto mining. Two dollars on a card a day, boom. After a month, man, you got a lot of bucks. You know, stuff you wouldn't have ordinarily once you pay your ROI. Okay, dokie, let's go over to Zerg Pool. Where is my Zergy Pool? Here it is. Let's close these out. I'm getting too many windows. I get confused. So if you look here, I did not get payout yet. But if I go to my Zergy Pool, my Zerg Pool, you can see what I got. I am doing solo mining. I am taking rabid miners advice. Again, I always say, great video. Let me see. That's great for you. You got a lot more hash power on your CPU rigs. I got maybe half of what you got. And right now I'm at 416.3 kilohash running in solo mode. So I went, and I didn't know. I was I want to use XM rig. So a couple of weeks ago, before I even saw rabid miners video, I said, I want to do this, but I can't use XM rig. I want to, I didn't want to download another miner, configure it. I just get lazy, right? Plus, I tried solo mining on two miners for Ethereum, and it was just nothing was happening for, for like a week. I said, screw this. I'll just go to, about, to a shared mining pool. So solo mining and a new miner was a turnoff to me. Saw his video, said, okay, he said, try SRB miner. I downloaded it and configured it. 
it's a little different. They use double hashes on their argument list inside the batch file versus that. So it's just little things that are annoying. So it's going to take you maybe a couple runs if you're an idiot like me to get it up and running, to get it rolling. So there you can see I got one, two, three, four, five. Four of these are Ryzen 9 3900Xs, which cost me around 500 bucks a pop back in November. Uh, one is a Ryzen 5 running. I want to buy more of these because, again, compared to GPU mining, getting just a motherboard and a CPU is going to, and, and power supply and memory, all that together could be just the cost of one GPU. You know, 600 bucks, you could possibly stand up a CPU rig. Now you got to consider the ROI, how long is it going to take you? Are you going to mine profitable coins? You mine them, hold the bag, and hope they go up. It's hopium, speculation, and hopium together will sometimes make you broke. You just got to figure the risk reward and what you can handle. But as a hobby, dude, you're learning how to basically configure hardware. You can build hardware, you can build computers for people. There is a side effect that if you have not messed with hardware before, you're really not going to damage these things unless you fry them with too much power or something. You know what I mean? But I don't use a grounding strap or anything. Come on. I just, I, I've never really fried anything. And you learn how to do memory. You know how to configure the boards. You learn how to make sure stuff is compatible on the motherboard, which is huge. You wonder why stuff doesn't work or you're not getting a display. It could be your display. Get this. All these motherboards that you're going, oh, no, I got a faulty motherboard. No, no, no. It's your stupid display isn't picking up the signal from the HDMI port. So you got to try a couple displays. And that's what ran into, I ran into like maybe five months ago. Why is this motherboard? I just bought it. It wasn't the motherboard. I felt bad returning it. It was my stupid display. I tried another display and things work. Point being, when you start going CPU mining or GPU mining, you learn a lot about hardware. You learn about Windows because or Linux if you're using iVOS, how to just basically get a Hive OS Linux instance up and running, you plug in the USB, big deal. But Windows is a little more tricky. You got to configure it to the sweet spot, fine tune it. So you learn how to do Windows fine tuning, performance tuning. You learn how to configure hardware, make sure hardware is compatible, build a high performance rig, uh, overclock GPUs and or CPUs for mining. And I did that and my temperatures went down on the CPU. Again, I think one of the YouTubers I mentioned in my other video showed me how to use the AMD uh, I forget what it was called. Shoot. The AMD uh, CPU overclock application, right? And that thing was cool. I, you know, reset the things based on someone's setting. It might have been, again, Rabbit Mining. He's, he seems to be the dude on CPU mining. And I'm just kind of the guy that says, all right, you put this video up. Let me go try it. Some doesn't work. Some stuff does work. And this video is to show that SRB Miner running solo on Pulsar has actually worked out. I mean, it works. It's not, I'm not making buku, buku anything, buku bucks. But um, there's an ad I clicked on. So you click on an ad. Sorry, I have ADD, right? Click on an ad, boom, close it. I just got micro cents from basic attention token uh, paid to my uphold wallet. And that's all right here. You guys got to get Brave Browser. You get Brave Rewards. Do it. Do it now. I'll wait. All right. So here's SRB Miner running. I got five rigs, 416.3 kilohash. I've been running, uh, I don't know, I think almost 12 hours now, but I actually hit something. And you can see right here what I'm running at. And you can see I hit last earnings, 122.796, uh, 89.55 I hit on. Uh, let's see, this is telling me what the percentage is, 99.5%. And it gives you the Bitcoin equivalent. That is pretty cool. So what it does, it puts it over here. I got my unpaid at 89.5. Uh, oh, I had 0.4 because I didn't have solo mining set up right. I didn't have the password parameter set correctly. So it defaults to the shared mining pool. So I made 0.4 before I said, oh, I screwed that up. Plus it was paying it out in Bitcoin. It converted the Bitcoin payout, the 0.4 to Pulsar for me within 10 minutes. It was pretty cool. So Zerg Pool is really kind of a cool site. I like it. I want to see how much Pulsar I can get and then get paid out in Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin is where it's at, and that is what I want to keep stacking. Um, I know Bitcoin is going up. Again, sorry, side note, 44.7, 44.8, and we have Ethereum. So it's holding for a day. We've been holding at 44 and then 3,100 for ETH. Uh, that horrible Litecoin I have. Uh, what's this accept crap? Litecoin's 125. I want Litecoin to do something. If it goes, it's got to get to 300 or 400 again. 
and I'll be happy because I got to get out of like, <laughs> I know it's going to have next year. I don't know what that means. If it's going to make it go up or down, we will see, but that's another story. That's another video, another video. All right, let's go over to Zerg pool again. So here you see it's working. I've been running under 12 hours. Um, yeah, yeah, I'd say about 12 hours now. And uh, I hit and I got the 85 block, 89.55. And that's right here in my graph. And you can kind of see what's going on here. Blah, 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 blah. Curve hash rate. I don't know why it's tanking down. Everything running yet? Yeah, we got stuff running. Okay, stuff is running. I like this. This and you can do the, the the auto refresh. Click on that and make sure you accept the cookie because I think they store the refresh and the values inside the cookie. Again, you're not giving up privacy. It works. This is a useful tool. Don't be afraid of the cookies. Cookies to be afraid of are social media cookies like Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. I don't use uh, I use Twitter, but I don't have an account. I just browse it on two guys I like to follow. And a lot of people say, "Oh, you gotta get Twitter to sign up for these freebies." No, I will never, ever, ever, ever use Twitter. It is AIDS. It is a horrible platform and it's run by commies. So YouTube is getting there as well. The the person wink, 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 that runs YouTube is, is her, her, her granddaddy was a commie. So it makes you, makes you wonder, man. All right, let's go on. Uh, let's see. We got Pulsar coin running solo. We got 90 Pulsar difficulty. Last blocks found by your miners. Here, that's what I'm looking for. So I did hit a 90 Pulsar block, 122 block, 90 Pulsar, got out of that. Difficulty, 371.5. Effort, 40%, five hours ago. So I did hit something. I have to wait weeks to hit it. I hit it right away, reasonably, and I want to see how much I can get. And maybe I'll go to uh, shared mining on the mining pool without solo mining and kind of compare. But I think with, Pul with Pulsar, with uh, solo mining, you can hit bigger bags of stuff if you're lucky and and just build up your stack of coins a lot quicker so I'm still waiting to get a paid I don't even know what the threshold is pay my threshold is 124.87512 based on points one Bitcoin equivalent pulsar and okay there we go there's the fee too not a bad site again it's not fluffy fluffy site but who cares it gives you the information you need and you want to look at it quickly this is what I want all right there you go guys so I went from Raptorium Raptorium was kind of just not reporting made me a little nervous not nervous but eh, why am I wasting electricity if nothing's reporting easily switched over five rigs to run SRB miner with you know once I got one I put the folder the SRB miner folder with the configuration and everything in on a USB and just ported it to the other four and I just went in and changed the worker name and I made the SRB executable. I went into the right click properties and made it under uh, made it uh, run as admin under the compatibility tab on Windows. Uh, I usually right click on the bat file anyway, say run as admin, but just to make sure it's just running as admin. It's just a it's just a backup measure to make sure it's always running at its highest performance and resource allocation, right? All right, guys, there you go. So, like I say, use your own brain, critical thinking, doubt but verify. Uh, listen to other YouTubers, listen to other resources out on the web, but do your own experimentation, do your own resources. Don't just go all in. I went with one rig initially to see if I could do it. And I, you know, I did it before I saw some of the other videos, and I just didn't want to take the extra effort to get another miner. And then Pulsar has their own miner. I ran that, but I didn't know what was going on. And I just didn't have enough time to experiment with it. So someone showed me the way. I said, all right, is that all you do? Okay, SRB miner. I said, I'll try it. I'm bored today. Had a had a, an hour to kill. And uh, yeah, I think I ran initially and it wasn't getting anything. But now it just shows I hit within 12 hours. And I'm going to let it run. Maybe I'll let it run a little bit for a week and just see how much I get. And I actually then want to see once I get the stuff into my... Pulsar wallet, I want to actually see it start staking. And then what's beautiful about staking is once you have the coin, you're not burning electricity. It's You're just making Pulsar. They're making little baby Pulsars. You know, they keep multiplying like triples. You know what I mean? And uh, it's awesome. Uh, that's the goal. You can actually go out. If you don't want to do the mining, just go out to the exchange. I think it is Exhibitron. Exhibitron. I don't know what it's called. Go to the Pulsar mining site. 
their main site. And uh, you get there this way. So everyone always says go do this, but they never show you. Um, yeah, easier said than good. Let's see, click on Pulsar coin. Here it is. I clicked on PLSR coin. To, now I can go to their website. Always want to go through this site because that way you're not going to go to a scam site, which may be set up to mirror or look like Pulsar or any other coin. You want to click through the links like Corn Market Cap or a pool to make sure you're going to the right, right site. Go to exchanges. Oh, another ad. All right. Close. Expatron. You can go here and you can get. You can go and buy your Pulsar with what? Oh, I think you have to have Bitcoin. Oh, what is that? BUSD. All. Let's see here. There it is. I'm a little idiot today. I don't know what BUSD is. Bitcoin USD. Well, I should know this. All right, so here's the here's the exchange. You go in here and buy it if you want. I'm just going to mine it. I don't want to. I don't want to join another exchange. <laughs> Uh, it just becomes a pain after a while. I have a couple I use and that's about it. And right now I'm just mining. So there you go. We got Raptorium down. We got uh, Pulsar kind of ticking up a little bit, up 28%. And also the same as Raptorium. You can get uh, rewards off it once you mine it. So yeah, go try stuff. If it works for you, good for you. And that's how you learn. And uh, yeah, the goal is to learn. Don't just, don't just follow. Go try stuff. See if it works for you. If, if you're not getting results, go back to what works. And sometimes if stuff is not broken when you're mining, do not mess with it. If your GPUs are running fine and you're getting the nice straight line, and I just lost a miner, having said that. So look, things are running great on Ethermine. I just lost a, a rig. So I got to go figure out which one dropped. Oh, 11 dropped. And that is my, oh, why did that drop? Those are my uh, AMD 6600 XT cards. Let's go look at 11. Yeah, I got to go just figure out what happened there. Sometimes that thing goes off. Uh, yeah, so I'll check daily to see what's happened. I also get email notifications. But again, if things ain't broke, don't come muck with them. And uh, yeah, that's all I got, guys. Go check out Paul Sarkoin. Go check out Raptorium. And uh, let me know what other coins you're looking at mining. I'm just curious. What else is out there? It'd be nice to start maybe mining or some figure a way to get Litecoin. I guess I can get paid out in Litecoin somehow with Zerg Pool. I know I want to eventually switch. If Pulsar Coin's a win, is switch that over to get paid out in Bitcoin. Because I just want to get, I think Bitcoin obviously is the king. And all coins can just disappear off the exchange and just disappear completely off mining pools. And you're like, well, what am I going to do with these things in my wallet? Guess what? Nothing. They're worth, they're worth zero. You get nothing. You lose. Uh, yeah, you got to be careful of that. All right, guys, that is another video, 22 minutes. Wow, I babble a lot. But anyway, hopefully it's useful information. Always play at 1.5 speed, and you'll get through these videos in 11 minutes. All right. All right, guys, take care. Talk to you later. I'm out. Blammo.